Welcome to the Daily History Podcast, where we unravel the threads of the past to weave the tapestry of our story. Today, we explore an emblem of grit and valor, the Battle of the Alamo, right at the heart of the Texas independence struggle. In the early 1830s, the vast and rich lands of Texas were the setting for burgeoning tensions that would eventually explode into rebellion. At this time, Texas was a part of Mexico, governed under the strict policies of President Antonio Lopez de Santa Anna, whose centralist stance fueled local grievances. The seeds of discontent among Texan settlers, a mix of native Mexican residents known as Tejanos and immigrants from the United States, were sown due to a combination of political and cultural clashes. These settlers, lured by the promise of open land and opportunity, soon found themselves at odds with Mexican authority. Santa Ana's regime imposed strict immigration laws, heavy taxes, and outlawed slavery, which many Texan colonists relied upon for their cotton plantations. The political landscape of the region, marked by discord and volatile alliances, became even more complex with the rapid influx of American settlers. These newcomers, accustomed to a more autonomous way of life and representation under the U.S. system, chafed under centralized Mexican rule. The 1830 law of April 6, which aimed to curb American immigration and reduce the economic dominance of foreigners, only exacerbated the settlers' frustrations. It was in this atmosphere of escalating tension that the Texan flame of independence was ignited. The settlers' dissatisfaction with Mexican policies, coupled with their increasing desire for self-governance, set the stage for conflict. As we lead up to the iconic stand at the Alamo, it's essential to recognize the undercurrents of rebellion and the burning aspiration for an independent identity that characterized Texas in the early 1830s. The stage was set, the actors fixed upon their marks, and the script of defiance written in whispered gatherings and public proclamations alike. The Texan settlers were poised on the brink of an uprising, one that would not only challenge a nation's control over its territory, but also contribute to the reshaping of North American borders. The prelude to rebellion was a quiet stirring, soon to erupt into a resounding cry for liberty. Our gaze sharpens as we turn to the precipice of conflict, the onset of General Santa Anna's siege at the Alamo. In these pivotal moments, key figures emerge from the fog of war. On the Texan side, names like William B. Travis, commander of the Texan rebels, James Bowie, renowned for his fighting prowess, and Davy Crockett, the legendary frontiersman. They faced an adversary with equal resolve on the Mexican side, led by General Antonio Lopez de Santa Anna, determined to quell the flames of rebellion. It was February 23, 1836, when Santa Ana's forces reached San Antonio. There, they encountered the Alamo Mission, a former Spanish religious outpost repurposed as a fortification by the Texan forces. The stronghold stood as a sentinel overlooking the flat expanses of Texas, a symbol of resistance and a strategic target for the surging Mexican army. Santa Ana, with a contingent bristling with cannon and musket, encircled the humble fortress. Without hesitation, he raised the blood-red flag of no quarter, signaling his intent to take the Alamo or lay waste to its defenders. The Alamo's very architecture whispered tales of its strategic importance. Its thick walls provided cover from the relentless artillery, and its position controlled a vital pass, making it a gateway to the land beyond. The Texan defenders understood its worth, holding the fort not only as a military bulwark, but also as the beating heart of their revolutionary aspirations. The siege of the Alamo had begun, and with it a grueling 13-day countdown where valor, fear, and hope would dance in the shadow of gunfire. As the dawn of battle approached, three men stood at the forefront of the Alamo's defense, each carrying with them a pass that would shape their stand against insurmountable odds. Davy Crockett, Jim Bowie, and William B. Travis were not just defenders, they were symbols of the very spirit of the Alamo. Davy Crockett, born on August 17, 1786 in Tennessee, was known far and wide as a frontiersman, congressman, and a folk hero. 
His life was a patchwork of adventures, embodied by his skilled marksmanship and fearless nature. From his humble beginnings in a frontier cabin, Crockett's charm led him to serve three terms in the House of Representatives. It was his fierce opposition to President Andrew Jackson's policies, especially the Indian Removal Act, that would cost him his political career. Searching for a fresh start, Crockett set his sights on Texas, drawn by the promise of reinvention. His motive for defending the Alamo was complex. It was as much about seeking new beginnings as it was standing for the liberties he long cherished. Then there was Jim Bowie, a figure whose name would soon become synonymous with a fighting knife. Born April 10, 1796, in Kentucky, Bowie was a formidable figure, a land speculator, slave trader, and reputed for his prowess in the Sandbar Fight of 1827. His reasons for defending the Alamo stemmed from his substantial vested interests in Texan land and his firm desire for independence from Mexican rule. Having seen conflict and survival at the edge of a blade, Bowie's strategic mind and combat skills were invaluable in the heat of battle. William B. Travis, the youngest of the trio, was born on August 1, 1809, in South Carolina. A lawyer by trade, Travis arrived in Texas as a means of escape from personal troubles back home. Despite his initial lack of military experience, Travis quickly advanced, exhibiting a natural leadership that earned him the role of lieutenant colonel in the Texan army. His commitment to the Alamo was driven by a profound belief in legal principles and the fight for Texan self-governance. As the battle loomed, Travis penned a series of impassioned letters seeking reinforcements, not for himself, but for the cause for which he had taken a stand. Within the walls of the Alamo, these three heroes navigated not just the looming battle, but also the dynamics of command. Crockett's ease with the men balanced Travis's disciplined leadership, while Bowie's strategic acumen provided a crucial edge. Yet, amid the chaos of an impending siege, their united front underscored a shared conviction. The fight for the Alamo was larger than any one man. It was a stand for freedom that would echo through the annals of history. As dawn broke on the 6th of March, 1836, the 13-day siege of the Alamo reached its climactic conclusion. The Texan defenders, vastly outnumbered, braced themselves behind the mission's fortified walls, awaiting the final assault of General Santa Ana's forces. The Mexican army, thousands strong, had encircled the Alamo, positioning artillery strategically to bombard the defenders' positions. Santa Ana, confident in his numerical superiority, ordered his troops to attack in waves. The Texans, led by William B. Travis, Jim Bowie, and the legendary frontiersman Davy Crockett, prepared for close combat, knowing full well the odds they faced. They had fortified the complex with cannons and rifles, determined to inflict severe casualties upon the attackers. The battle commenced with a barrage of cannon fire as Mexican troops moved forward under cover of darkness. The Texan sharpshooters, atop the Alamo's walls, responded with disciplined volleys, their aim true despite the overwhelming circumstances. Twice repelled, the Mexican infantry regrouped and surged forward with sheer force of numbers. The defenders, conserving ammunition and energy, fought off the advances with tenacity, but their resources dwindled with each passing minute. As Mexican soldiers breached the outer defenses, the fight turned to brutal hand-to-hand -hand combat. The walls of the Alamo, once a symbol of refuge, became a chaotic battleground. Amidst the cacophony of musket fire and clashing bayonets, the defenders fell back to the barracks and the chapel, making their last stand. Travis ever the resolute commander, was one of the first to fall. His death, however, did not diminish the resolve of the Texans. They continued to fight with a ferocity that belied their numbers. Despite moments of valiant resistance, the turning point came as the Texan lines collapsed under the relentless pressure. Mexican troops swarmed the complex, and the fate of the Alamo was sealed. The last of the defenders were overcome, their resistance quelled, and the Alamo fell. Yet, their sacrifice would not be in vain, as the cry, Remember the Alamo, became a rallying point for Texan forces in subsequent battles, fueling their resolve to secure independence from Mexico. In the aftermath, the battlefield lay silent, a 
a stark testament to the fierce struggle that had unfolded. While the fall of the Alamo was a tactical victory for Santa Ana, it proved a strategic misstep, stirring the fires of resistance and marking a pivotal moment in the Texas Revolution. This fierce clash of arms, though a defeat for the defenders of the Alamo, forged an enduring legacy. It became a symbol of determination and sacrifice, qualities that would continue to resonate throughout the history of Texas and the United States for years to come. The ashes of the Alamo were still smoldering when news of its fall reached the Texan settlements. On the morning of March 6, 1836, the fort had been overrun by General Santa Ana's forces after a relentless siege and a fierce final assault. The defenders, though vastly outnumbered, had fought to the bitter end. This tragic outcome was a crushing blow to those seeking independence. But the sheer valor exhibited by the Alamo's defenders stirred something deep within the Texan people. This immense sacrifice became a rallying cry, encapsulated in the resounding phrase, Remember the Alamo. It served to inflame the passions of the Texas population, fueling a burning desire for retribution and independence. The battle itself had been a catastrophic military defeat, but the symbolism and emotional weight it carried had the opposite effect, spurring the revolutionaries to fight with renewed gusto. Even those who had been on the fence about joining the insurrection were now compelled to take up arms against the Mexican government. The broader impact of the Alamo's fall on the Texas Revolution was multifaceted. On one hand, it bought crucial time for the rest of the Texan forces, under the leadership of General Sam Houston, to regroup and strengthen their ranks. On the other, it served as a stark reminder of the sacrifices required to achieve independence. In the months that followed, Houston's army would go on to victory in the Battle of San Jacinto, shouting, Remember the Alamo, as they charged, a testament to how thoroughly the Alamo had galvanized their spirits and their cause. In retrospect, the Alamo became more than a battle. It became a symbol of defiance and the unyielding pursuit of a self-determined future. It was a testament to bravery and resilience in the face of overwhelming odds, and its story rippled through the ages, inspiring the generations that followed. Though the immediate aftermath was grim, the long-term effects fortified an entire movement, leading not just to the success of the Texas Revolution, but also to the eventual annexation of Texas into the United States. The legacy of the Battle of the Alamo thus loomed large, extending far beyond the bounds of Texas, shaping the destiny of a burgeoning nation. In the quiet aftermath of the battle, the Alamo's legacy began to take shape, etching its name into the annals of American history. It's become more than just a battle, it's a symbol, a pivotal moment that continues to echo through time, resonating in the heart of national identity. The Alamo has transcended its historical roots, growing into a mythos that permeates American culture. It serves as a testament to courage and sacrifice, often invoked in tales and narratives that celebrate the spirit of independence. For many, it stands as an emblem of defiance and an icon of Texan identity, encapsulating a blend of fact and folklore that still stirs feelings of pride and patriotism. Yet the remembrance of the Alamo has been a complex one. Over the decades, the story has been told and retold in various forms, from films and books to political rhetoric and public education. Each retelling carries with it the perspectives and purposes of its time, shaping the collective memory of the event. The heroes of the Alamo, Davy Crockett, Jim Bowie, William B. Travis, have been celebrated, sometimes even mythologized, their true stories interwoven with legend. As we reflect on the ways this foundational event has been interpreted, we can see a reflection of the evolving American identity itself. As the years roll on, the Alamo remains a symbol of the enduring human quest for liberty and self-determination. It prompts us to explore the complexities of history ensuring that we remember not just the battle, but the nuances that define our past. It stands as a reminder that history is as much about the present and the future as it is about the past, always inviting us to question, learn, and grow. As we've journeyed through the sieged walls of the Alamo, 
we unpacked the layers of bravery, leadership, and the sheer will to fight for a cause one believes in. From the political turbulence that set the stage for rebellion to the personal sagas of the defenders, the Battle of the Alamo has been etched into history as a profound emblem of courage against overwhelming odds. The Alamo's legacy, built on a foundation laid by the likes of Davy Crockett, Jim Bowie, and William B. Travis, typifies the essence of heroism and sacrifice. Their stories, tales of individuals converging on a focal point of freedom, resonate with the fundamental human spirit that continues to inspire. The fall of the Alamo on March 6, 1836, though a tactical defeat, became a moral victory, stirring the souls and rallying forces toward Texas's eventual independence. Now, as we reflect upon the echoes of those 13 pivotal days, we must ponder the lessons that are carried through time. What does the Alamo teach us about the values we hold dear today? In what ways does the valor demonstrated by its defenders shape our notions of selflessness and the pursuit of a cause greater than oneself? And as we navigate the complexities of contemporary society, how can we apply the lessons of unity and resolve that were exhibited within the storied walls of this legendary mission? It remains our quest to glean meaning from the past, to recognize the sacrifices made, and to honor the legacy that such storied events leave behind. The Battle of the Alamo, more than a historical footnote, is a narrative that compels us to examine our principles and fortitude in the face of adversity. Let it be a reminder, a beacon of the indomitable human spirit, to live, to learn, and to never yield before the trials that history presents to us. Thank you for joining us on this journey through one of the most storied episodes of our past. Remember, history is not just about remembering dates, it's about understanding the human spirit that shapes our world today. If you've enjoyed the show, subscribe and share with your friends. Don't forget to comment below with your suggestions for upcoming episodes. The topic with the most likes has a strong chance of being featured. Until next time, keep exploring and keep questioning. Until our next historical adventure, goodbye.